What's going on everybody? Just wanted to give you a heads up before this video starts. I had the same audio problems that I had before in my Good Burger video. So sorry about that. I have no idea what's causing the problem, but I'm going to look into it and see if I can fix it. Now, enjoy the video. What's going on everybody? Today I'm going to be creating a poster based on a CD in my collection. And I'm going to try my hand at a Saul Bass style poster. I've made a couple of these in the past, never on this channel, and it's also been a while. All right, so let's go ahead and figure out what CD we're creating a poster for. All right, so I got my CD collection loaded up in here, and we'll pick a random album. This Way. So this is actually a Jewel album. Let me go grab that. This Way is an album by Jewel, and this is an album that I'm not too familiar with. I know some of the songs on it. I know Standing Still. That's one of her biggest hits. I think I found this at Goodwill or maybe even McKay's up at Nashville, and I haven't really had a chance to listen through the whole thing yet. However, that doesn't really matter because I have to make a poster out of it. So the color palette on here, black, white, and blue, and that actually will work very well for this type of poster that we're doing. So let's go ahead and jump into Illustrator and get started. Okay, so I've dropped a couple of Saul Bass posters in here so you can get an idea of his design style. Very minimalist in its color and also very bold in its typography. I think that I'll probably follow the typography of this Made Visible poster right here, where you just kind of create it using the pen tool. And then maybe I'll do something with some arrows, something like that, because the name of the album is This Way. So this is just to give you an idea of what we're going for here, and I can also draw some inspiration from these as I'm creating the poster. So I'm going to start by laying down this black background right here, and the album right here, we've got black, white, and blue. And I definitely want to keep that same format going on where we have that black background and we're going to have the white and the blue really jump off against that black background. And normally I would use the type tool to type out our main text. However, I'm going to put it together using the pen tool instead. So I'm going to switch my main color here to white and I'm going to go ahead and get started and speed up this portion of the video. Okay, so I have the main letters finished, so now I'm going to arrange it the way I want it to lay on the page. Okay, so I like that right there, and now I'm going to add in some arrows. Okay, very cool. So I really do like the way this is all laid out. So now let's add in some extra typography. And now looking at this, the way that I have everything covered, I'll probably make this 18 by 27, just so I have a little bit more vertical space. All right, so I kind of moved things around a little bit and I also decided to make the whole width of everything 16 inches, just so we have a one inch margin around all of our artwork. And I also went ahead and resized this to where it fills up the entire space and we still have that one inch margin around everything just because I think that we can utilize the whole space of the poster and still get all of the type that we need to get in. And I'm also going to add in a few of these little arrows here. Just so we have a few more elements pointing to the right. Okay, so let's take a look at our empty zones here. So we've got some empty space right here that we can utilize and down here and then a little bit right here, a little bit in, in here and a little bit in here. And we want to keep in mind the margins and we also want to make sure that we're not filling space just to fill it. And let's also take a look at the balance that we've got going on with these posters as far as the typography goes. You've got your main text right here and it's nice and large and also over here nice and large. It is a little bit different here on this side. The focus of this is a little bit more on the art piece and less the typography. So we're really going to focus on these two, the red and the blue. You've got your large type balanced with very small type. And this is also something that is a Swiss principle. So we can utilize that same principle when we're putting this together. And I really like this input mono font right here. It actually kind of calls to this poster to right over here while not copying exactly what it's doing. And since the This Way is the main focus of the poster because it's the title of the album, we can make the artist name secondary. And we want to showcase it by making it the next item in the hierarchy. And I'm going to set the size at 80 points with a medium weight. And then we'll set the release date down here and we'll do it at half the size. And now I'm going to figure out a way to get the track listing in here. So I'm going to go ahead and format all of that type. So I'm going to resize this to about a 16 by 20 right here on our canvas. And it still looks good even though we've kind of squished it up a little bit. So 
So I'm gonna create a shape right here that we're gonna convert to an area type tool. And then we could just paste our track listing right into here. We're gonna change this to white so we can actually see our type. And then we'll put a bullet in between each song title. And then I'll set this to justify all lines, but with the last one aligned left. And I think I may even bring this down right here to where it just kind of goes like this. And we'll get our one inch margin on the right side and then maybe a two inch margin vertically. I'd kind of like this to be close to the release date because it kind of goes outside of my own comfort zone. It's not something that I normally would do, but I know it's something that Saul Bass would do, so we're going to do that. And then we'll bring this back to 16 by 22. So as you can see, all of the elements on your poster, they're not going to always end up exactly where they started. And that's one of the things that's so much fun about creating posters. And now to match the margins on the bottom, I'm going to bring in Jules' name by one inch. And it's perfectly fine that we have that empty space up there. No need to fill it. Okay, so you probably noticed that everything is still in black and white, so we need to get some color going in here. And you want to be very selective and strategic about how you do your colors. So if you notice in most of Saul Bass's posters, most of his main type is one color. So we're going to leave this way as all white. And then I'm going to selectively color some of these elements blue. Okay, so I think this is a very good balance right here. So now let's grab everything, bring it into Photoshop, and give it a nice Saul Bass effect. Okay, so I've got this here in Photoshop, and I've also added in this little bitty hairline margin around the edges right here, just because that's something that you commonly saw with Saul Bass's posters. And I have a couple of paper effects that are already on the file, but they're not showing yet. So let's go ahead and turn those on. We've got the folded paper one right here. So what that's going to do is give it a folded paper look, obviously. So as you can see, we've got this nice texture going through here, but we've also got some pixelation here. So we're going to use this papyrus one to kind of cover that up a little bit. And it's also going to help to brighten that black background because it has that paper color to it. So what I'm going to do now is make this look a little bit more vintage and just give it a Gaussian blur of 3.0. So as you can see here, this is blending into our paper effects very nicely. This color range is a little bit too red for me. So I've added in my hue and saturation layer and I'm going to select reds and I'm just going to go over here and desaturate. So now our black actually looks black and we've got our color palette from the album cover. And then the last thing we're going to do is just add in a grain layer. Go up here to camera raw filter, turn my grain up all the way to 100 and I'm going to do 50 on size and 50 on roughness and I'm not going to do a vignette. I'm going to go ahead and hit OK and then select overlay and then I'll zoom in so you can kind of see what that did. So it gives us a nice even layer of grain across our paper textures just to give it a little bit more dimension. So here it is our Jewel Saul Bass style poster that we put together in Illustrator and then finished up with Photoshop adding some effects in. I hope you like this poster and I also hope that you learned something in either Illustrator or Photoshop today. All right, well, thanks a lot for watching me make that Saul Bassin style poster for Jewel. If you like this kind of poster, let me know down in the comments and I'll be sure to make more of them. Please remember to hit like and subscribe below and click the bell for notifications to be notified of all future content. Thanks a lot for watching and subscribing and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.